The first step is to search up LVUI on Google and simply go to the first link. And once you open up the website, you should be able to scroll down kind of towards the bottom and click download the LVUI. Go ahead and download that. And also you can download the Twitch desktop app, which can help you with managing your add-ons and also so you can install more add-ons if you want because it really simplifies the process. So once you have these things downloaded, go ahead and run the setup installation. Should be fairly simple, easy to follow. And also once you have this downloaded, go ahead and open the file and drag the contents onto your desktop in a place where you can clearly see exactly where it is. You can go ahead and scan these if you have an antivirus if you want to. Go ahead and right click your World of Warcraft, hit open file location and this is where you need to be or go to local disk, your files in Warcraft. Once here, click interface and then head over to the add-ons. Now this is the add-ons folder. This is where you want to drag these into. You don't want to put it into a specific folder in there. Just drag it into the add-ons folder if that makes any sense. So once you've done that, go ahead and open up your Twitch desktop app and you would have the choice to log in with Curse or Twitch. But Curse is like the old thing they used to have. They're now converting that into Twitch accounts. So if you don't have either of these, just go ahead and make a Twitch account, which you can easily do here. Just click login and make up a login if you don't have one already. And if you do, just go ahead and sign in. Once you're here, you want to go to the top where it says mods and click World of Warcraft. Now, these are the, the mods that I currently have or the add-ons that I have installed here. Get more add-ons. You'll see all these choices here. Go ahead and just click one you like. You can read about it and hit install. It's that simple. And the top search bar is actually not the correct one. It's the one kind of in the middle right here on the right side. Go ahead and type LVUI. Type it correctly and it'll show you a bunch of options that you have. Extras if you want to, but I don't have any of these installed myself. It's just if you want to and it'll show up in your add-ons there. So from here, we're, we're ready to go ahead and launch the game. So once you're here, go ahead and go to the add-ons and make sure that the LVUI config and the LVUI are both checked. The other one is just an extra one that I have. You can get that later if you want to. But for now, go ahead and show you that this is my current UI. If you've seen my videos before, you've seen this before. You know, it's pretty simple, pretty clean and plain, easy for me to use. I have everything where I want it and I just enjoy using it like this. Of course, I can hide the chat window and things like that. So let me go ahead and log on to a new character and show you a fully clean setup. So I've just created a new character here. Literally, this is like a brand new startup. And here's the LVUI menu should pop up like this. If everything's installed, you can skip the process with the button there. But I kind of recommend you just go through it so you kind of understand what kind of features they might have. Just click set up CVARs, set up the chat. You can click your theme. I usually go with the, the class theme and I have a high resolution monitor and then choose your spec here, caster DPS. And then I usually set these up as well, but it doesn't really matter because what you see here is going to be the default LVUI out on here. That's how the interface would look like. I mean, it's pretty cool, but I really don't prefer it. I kind of like my setup better. I'm not a really big fan of this one here. So you hit menu and go to add-ons. You'll see the LVUI down here. You can uncheck that whenever you want if you don't want to use it anymore. But just go here and click LVUI. And this is the whole menu where you can customize everything about it. As you see here, I usually go to media and increase the font size to help me see it better. You know, it's kind of too small to see sometimes, but not too big or it won't really fit on the screen, right? So here you have a bunch of options where you can change your action bar or you can change your tool tip, like literally everything on the UI, you can customize it here. So here you can take off the backdrop or show empty buttons or even, you know, not enable the action bar at all. However you want to, it's completely up to you how you want to customize it. But I have under this profiles tab, you'll see here. Once again, you hit escape, go to LVUI and you have these toggle anchors feature, which shows you where everything is placed and you can really move that around and set it up how you want. But I have mines already set up on a profile that I saved from my main character, which I'll show you right now. So I'll go here and I put copy from. So I can copy this right here from my main character, Savage Laugh, and it loads up exactly how I have it on my main character. I can hide the chat window and exactly how I like it. Also, this is how the toggle anchors looks like you know 
really spend a lot of time moving stuff around. Doesn't really look like much of a difference, but it did take some time for me to set this up because you really have to go through each of the options and settings one by one so you can understand what everything's doing. Like for example, on the default one, I'm gonna load up here again. You see these two windows are kind of separate. You can go over here, let me fix the font size, but you can go to the chat and then go to panels as you see there in the middle, right here, panels. And you click here and you see all the options. You can lock it, unlock it. And right here, the panel backdrop, you can hide those if you want. So you see here, you just kind of go through everything and see what you like, see what you don't like, fix it up how you want. Cause I really have mine set up pretty nicely. I have the experience bar under the mini map and all that stuff. You can even change on the bottom left, what shows in the thing. And I usually put LVUI as one of them right here. Cause it makes it easier to customize. So you close it on the bottom right you'll see the LVUI on the chat window. But that's all for this video today. And yeah, if you need, have any more questions, you know, just let me know and I'll surely help you out. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.